Hello, brothers and sisters. Tell me, do you remember these provocative words from the Lord? That if we do not forgive, we will not be forgiven? Or how about this parable? The parable about this man who has a huge million dollar debt that's forgiven him. But then he turns around to somebody who owes him 10 bucks and won't forgive him. Now in return, he's put in jail. And that's when Jesus says that this is what the Father will do to you if you don't forgive. You'll pay up your debt. You will not know it is forgiveness. Now, it's not to lessen the blow by saying it, it's just about damaging your relationship with God. But of course, he'll forgive you. Um, but Jesus clearly said, if you do not forgive, you will not be forgiven. Now, of course, remember who he's talking to. His audience is a Jewish uh, a nation who thinks they're okay with God. They'll be approved by God. And Jesus is actually questioning them on that. Most of his sermons, like the Sermon on the Mount, is him challenging them, are you truly children of God? But still, how can you, me, we say that we've tasted this forgiveness in Jesus Christ where all of our sins, all of our debt, what we deserve as punishment is forgiven by God and then turn around and not forgive a little boo-boo or even severe attack by those around us. Oh, I forgive you, just stay away. I forgive you, but I won't talk to you. Yeah, we're supposed to forgive as we've been forgiven. How does God act towards us? I forgive you in Jesus, but don't come praying for the next two weeks at least. No, of course not. There's a full acceptance. Grace even superabounds when sin has abounded when we ask for forgiveness. We are told that love is supposed to cover a multitude of sins, that we're supposed to have this 1 Corinthians 13 type of love that does not remember evil against us, that not hold it against people, but actually superbounds in kindness and forgiveness. Maybe we should challenge our hearts way more. Have you truly known forgiveness if you're not able to forgive, if you hold on to bitterness, frustration, or whatever? May this be a challenge to all those professing to be Christians. Doesn't matter how long you've been a Christian or what prayer you made or what you know about God. If you do not forgive, have you truly been forgiven from God? Be blessed.